Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Lena and I hope that you guys are having a good day. I'm back with another reading. First of all, thank you so much for all your lovely likes, comments, subscriptions, everything. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful for everything. Um, I have been trying to do this reading since I think this is the third day and um, there have been a lot of like problems uh sometimes the internet is down sometimes the video stops recording and oh my god just so i hope it goes through this time um i'm gonna try this reading today with a fresh all together a fresh note and um this is going to be messages from lord hanuman and I'm going to use orange candles today for both the groups because orange is his color. Um, but you will have the options to choose from with the pictures. This is going to be picture for group number one. In this picture, he's carrying the mountain with the Sanjeevani herb. And group number two, this is your picture. In this picture, Hanuman is flying away after putting Lanka on fire. So these are the two contexts of the picture. Whatever you feel drawn to, you can choose. If you need a moment to pause and select your option, feel free to do that. And in case you want to listen to the whole video, that's your call again. Listen to your intuition. I'm going to start with group number one. Hello, group number one. This is going to be your reading. Whosoever chose this uh, picture, this is your reading. I automatically fell in love with this like when I was looking for pictures online. <laughs> I'm going to keep it on the side for now, okay? Let's start your reading. I hope that's focusing properly. Yeah. I'm already seeing the number three for you. By the way, I'm also reminded of the story of Kamdev. Uh, just give me a moment, okay? There's noise from outside. Okay, uh, so there was some noise coming from the neighbor, so I just paused for a bit. Uh, I was getting the reference to the story of Kamdev, where Shiva was sitting into meditation, okay? And Parvati comes in, to wake him, up, wake him up from meditation, to make him remember that, hey, this is Shakti. I'm your Parvati. I have reincarnated. And, you know, like, so basically Parvati wanted him to wake up from his deep meditation so that he can realize that Parvati has reincarnated and taken the form of, you know, like, uh, and they can reunite and get married. So she came to wake him up. But he was in deep state of meditation and he was not like he was not coming back to the reality consciousness. So what Kamdev does is Kamdev actually tries to shoot an arrow towards uh, Shiva in order to, you know, like, so basically Kamadeva is the god of desires or he's like the god of uh, wishes, god of desi desires, god of, you know, like, um, in Hindu uh, mythology. So he tries to shoot an arrow towards um, Shiva in order to inflict him with love feelings so that, you know, when he wakes up, he immediately falls in love with Parvati and, you know, steps like that. So that's the reason why he was trying to shoot an arrow towards Shiva to wake him up from his meditation. And when he attempted to do that, Shiva, obviously Shiva is someone who's aware of everything going on around him. It's just that he was not waking up. He knew everything, like Shiva knows everything, right? Even though he's into his deep state of meditation, he knows everything. So he knew that he was about to be uh, inflicted by that arrow uh, or hit by that arrow. So he opens his third eye and burns down Kamdev. And when he burns him down, uh, Rati, uh, I think his wife's name was Rati, if I'm not wrong. Kamdev's wife was Rati. So she got angry and she was like, why did you burn my husband down? Like, 
how am I going like you you took away my husband's life that's not how like what is this so she became angry and she actually cursed Parvati that you will never be able to bear a child you will never be able to give birth to a child from your own uh from your own body or something like that okay so i'm kind of being reminded of that episode where kamdeva hits the arrow and he in return he gets burned down so there is something about desires here or going against the will so i'm getting a message here that either someone is trying to push you against your will or this is something you are doing to someone so you should be careful don't try to go against someone's will if someone is doing this to you if they are trying to push you to do something against your will there's a reason why i explained you the whole story because i was guided to so that's why i did it um so if this is someone who is doing this to you they're going to get their karma for that but if this is something you are doing to someone then you need to be careful okay you might be inviting negative karma in your life so take how that goes this is a general reading okay so this was a very strong vision that i got so before starting the reading i definitely had to share that okay let's start with your candle wow these pigeons whenever i start to do a reading they will come up as if they know i'm starting a reading <laughs> this is so funny i'm getting the number 36 very strongly and you know the moment i started your reading um there was a power cut here uh, the moment I started your group and suddenly everything became so silent like obviously all the appliances went off everything and suddenly there was like a pin drop silence this is giving me a feeling of you know like uh, something it's coming back to its awareness maybe for some of you you are having a very big aha moment or a very big spiritual download and that is helping you to understand some reality about your situation because suddenly it's like there's so much of silence and you're able to focus on oh this is what was happening so for many of you i feel uh you will be having a major spiritual realization a download a aha mo like an aha moment that is going to give you a very important answer in your life like suddenly things will come to a halt you know in movies they show sometimes i'm getting that kind of images where suddenly the everything stops okay like suddenly there's a pause and only the main actor or the main actress is moving you know like there's suddenly a stop the scene stops the people around them stops time stops so i'm getting a feeling like that here <laughs> i'm very strongly channeling the image of ravan ravana and dashanan Ravana was known for his like one thing that was not good about him was his pride he was very prideful he was very egoistic when it came to his uh, spiritual powers he was a very intelligent man he he had so much of spiritual knowledge he was known as the biggest devotee of Shiva but at the same time he was very proud prideful as well right his pride took everything down I keep getting this energy of like uh you need to be careful of something this could be you this could be someone in your life who is either trying to be very prideful with like they have a pride about their position in life or some power i don't know if this is you this maybe you have to take this with a grain of salt but sometimes uh self delusion about being powerful can cause you harm okay so make sure you're not operating from a place of ego or if this is someone who is around you who is who is treating you like that then they are going to have like it's like they will have their karma don't worry if you feel someone is being unjust someone is treating you bad someone is treating you bad in their ego then don't worry they will be taken care of right i see a dragon here like look at that dragon is the energy of fire very fiery sometimes you know when we are very fiery and passionate we tend to act on impulse sometimes too much of fire is not good 
we need to also stay grounded right there is an energy or underlining message of you know like keeping things in balance make sure you are not boasting about something or make sure you don't let your ego overtake in certain aspect of your life or again if this is not what you're resonating with this could be a person in your life who might be behaving like this with you then there is a message here underlining that this person will be put in their place you don't have to worry about that <clears throat> If of course you notice something or you see it in a different way, you perceive something, always feel free to mention in the comments, okay? Or take that as a personal message to yourself. Oh, wow. My neighbor is uh, doing her morning prayer. <laughs> I don't know if it's if the sound is catching on the microphone I don't know but this looks like a duck to me as well like from this angle when I'm looking at that it looks like a duck here and this is like a duckling like a small duck following the mama duck okay <laughs> it gives me a feeling like that this is reminding me of the fact that you'll be shown the way Maybe right now in life you have a situation, you completely feel stuck, you don't know what to do. And the moment I was saying that, I saw double four. Um, for some of you, this could be related to a living situation or maybe related to something around your neighborhood or I don't know, maybe a living situation for many of you. Probably you feel helpless, probably you don't understand how to come out of certain situation in life. So this is a sign here that a help is on its way you will be shown the way you will be given the help this is a confirmation okay i'm getting 49 someone's age like someone whose age is 49 could be significant to you Excuse me. The word that I'm channeling for you guys is humility. Humility. Humility will take you a long way. Let's put it here. There is an L shape here, so maybe L is significant. I also see an I here. Uh, for some of you, I feel that this is specifically to the parents watching me. Like if your child has not been feeling physically active lately or your child has been facing some kind of physical injury, like they might have had some kind of physical injury or they, are, they have been facing some kind of issues when it comes to like physical movement of the body, I feel your child will recover soon. Like there is recovery, there is a better physical movement. 
I'm especially getting in terms of physical body movement, like stretching and like if they were having some kind of injury or something, it will get better. This is what I'm getting. Like there is recovery. Don't worry. Okay, what is that? I'm hearing don't go back. Don't go back. Okay, I'm guided to, okay. Let this settle till the time I'm going to pull you some cards, okay? Just let it settle for a couple of minutes. Let me pull you some cards and I'm also going to focus on the picture. If, I'm, if I feel something, if I channel something, we'll see. And I'll also draw you some cards, okay? So I'll be taking this deck. This is the, because many a times I get asked what decks I use. So where is the box? Oh my God. Mm. Hang on, just a minute. So this is the deck that I'm using. Gods and goddesses, uh, this one. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead. One. Oh my god, do you see something? <laughs> wow. Bottom of the deck, we have, I'm taking this also, I'm guided to. Okay, let's start. The first card you got is Kurma, the tortoise avatar. Oh, okay. This is uh, Lord Vishnu when he took the tortoise avatar to help in the churning of the ocean. Number four is something I keep seeing for you guys. Uh, the diplomacy, ability to provide support, steadiness and dependability, skills to manage contradictory factors. I keep getting this idea of, you know, maybe for many of you, the message here is that Instead of catering to your ego, maybe it's time to humble down and help someone. Probably someone really needs your help. And this is giving me a feeling that there is a situation where maybe you have to be the bigger person for a bit. I'll be honest, when I'm looking at this, you know, he uh, Vishnu is one of the three major um, gods in Hindu mythology. But when it came to helping or for the highest good, he actually humbled, humbled himself down. He became a tortoise and went down into the ocean to act as the support system, which was really necessary at that time for that event to took place or take place. So this is giving me a feeling maybe there's an again and again, this underlining message of ego. Okay, Maybe you have to put your ego aside for the moment for the highest good and be humble. Maybe someone genuinely needs your help. 
keep your ego or your anger or maybe your you know that feeling aside and look from a bigger picture perspective like maybe this person really needs your help or this situation really needs you to calm down and help someone okay so take how that resonates we have vaman uh, the the dwarf avatar receiving charity resisting cheats and tricksters being charitable in the right spirit and ability to use trickery for a good cause wow this is exactly what i'm telling you you might have to little bit play along in order to look for the highest good in the situation you might have to adopt a little charitable side to you or maybe you have to apply a little bit of brain in order to maybe just help someone out in a situation i love this energy okay the other card you got is shri radha uh it says supreme goddess uh faith in the power of love ability to win the heart of one's beloved increased devotion and attainment of divine love and liberation from the pain of thwarted love wow you know what this is giving me a feeling because radha is a very graceful energy okay so for many of you i feel you have to come out of that uh like maybe from many of you you are in the energy of the queen of swords that's the kind of feeling i'm channeling you have to come out of that queen of swords energy and you have to step into this queen of wands energy i'm talking about energy here so no gender i'm talking about energy so probably you have to adopt a little more grace while dealing in a situation with someone this is what i'm getting like operate from a place of love this is what i'm getting like that's for the highest good of everyone in the situation and this is so interesting hanuman himself came out in your reading <laughs> he himself came out the monkey god uh capacity to persevere physical strength fighting ability superhuman power to accomplish acts of service wow this keeps showing up in your reading look at that you need to operate from humility i told you i'm channeling this word in your reading humility keeping your ego aside ability to increase one's attitude of love in performing selfless service probably for some of you it is pointing out to the fact that again i'm i'm not going to repeat myself but that's the message that keeps repeating in your reading you need to probably operate from a place of humility humility right now um you have to look at the bigger picture probably your grace and your love can save a lot of things in this situation okay you can also put your point across you can also stand your boundaries but at the same time you can come from a place of love don't come from a place of agitation not coming from a place of anger or ego or something like that but rather completely coming from a place of love okay this will be for the highest good for everyone's good involved in the situation i'm also seeing the number 8 for you very strongly number 8 wow i love that okay uh so hang on just give me a moment so i'm going to use the tea leaf cards as well to uh take some additional messages what can you expect for yourself okay <clears throat> so let's see the tea leaf and then we are going to see the wax shape okay you have got gavel involvement with the law wow okay key successful outcome to your problem are you serious <laughs> if you are involved with the law here if there is something that is going on legally there's definitely things going in your favor okay that's a big confirmation cracked cup dissatisfaction with life yep there's a reason the message of humility and operating from a place of grace is coming up because you definitely have a situation which you're not happy with in life so changing your attitude towards the situation is going to really help you it's going to attract better things for you 
change your perception that's the question uh, that's the answer or that's the message wheel indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly oh and table hard work ahead this is also giving me a feeling of time management and becoming little more organized when it comes to your work uh, i also see the number 555 um, so probably you need to adopt a more organized approach okay um this is kind of telling you that you have the abilities or you are able like you have those um you know you have the capacity to successfully have something in life but at the same time you have to be a little more organized in your approach probably make sure that you know you think you do things in a more organized way that's what i'm kind of getting with all these cards a little shift in perspective is gonna take you a long way i really heard that okay let's take your i was about to say cup <laughs> let's take your bowl this is immediately giving me the feeling of a bunny this like bunny ears bunnies are representation of good luck it's also representation of the fact that a situation in your life is soon changing okay there is um there is about to be like i keep seeing repetitive numbers like 55 then 55 then i see 56 56 i also saw 36 36 so there is like a double effect here okay so i'm getting a feeling like someone might be mirroring back to you in their behavior okay like someone is mirroring you back here so in order to see a change in their attitude or the way they are behaving towards you probably you will have to first change your attitude this is what i'm getting like i'll give you a very random example say your landlord is being an ass with you okay your landlord is just being a pain in your neck so maybe probably just start dealing with them in a little different way and you will automatically start seeing that oh this person has automatically changed their behavior towards me now so something should be initiated from your end is what i'm getting so apply to that situation accordingly in your life because this is a collective reading but that's the kind of message i'm getting that in order to see a change what you're expecting first maybe you have to change something in you and don't be in the ego that oh why am i supposed to do that there's a reason the message of ego kept coming up in your reading because don't come in that place of ego that but why should i change first don't think like that okay if it is helping in serving the highest good in the situation then probably take the first step and do it don't think who is who is changing who is not that's not your concern you can take the first step in changing it okay the situation is definitely changing with the rabbit okay let me flip this oh wow do you see something <laughs> like look these two creatures are like talking their their con conversation is going on between two different creatures wow this looks like a reptile something like a reptile to me and this is like uh oh wow that's interesting like two people are talking they are very different see this is a reptile and this is like a it looks like a big animal they're so different but at the same time they're coming down to talk that's the kind of feeling i'm getting like wow you may be very different from someone but difference in opinion doesn't mean you have to fight with each other okay so group number one this is where i'll leave you with the reading and i'm gonna see you again with another video thank you so much hello group number two this is going to be your reading so whosoever just selected this picture of hanuman this is your reading. I'm going to keep the picture here. Okay, let's start with your reading. I'm hearing time sensitive. I 
and I'm also hearing like the message I'm channeling is it's the ma it's about time actually you know like something is supposed to take its sweet time you cannot rush the process I'm getting a feeling that you're not supposed to rush the process it, it is supposed to go slow there's something about time here like that keeps um i'm seeing the image of an hourglass so it's something about time here is of significance I saw that when I was looking at this, it gave me the image of a goldfish and on the top of the goldfish, like there's a coin. That's the kind of image I saw when I was looking at that. So fishes itself are the sign of financial abundance. And on the top of the fish itself, I saw the image of a coin. So that's giving me a feeling that it's not that you're doing something wrong or it's not that you're on the wrong path. It's probably just a matter of time when things will start giving you results. So perseverance is the only thing that, you know, like that you can focus on. Don't give up. Keep putting your efforts. It's only a matter of time. Um, yeah, that's what I'm kind of sensing very strongly from this um, candle wax. It's not that you're doing something wrong or it's not that uh, sometimes, you know, some things need some time to grow and it's just about time, okay? Some things need to happen at the perfect time. I keep hearing this. It's about time. It's just about the time. Hmm. You know, uh, I'm getting that image where I remember I have seen this image on social media where like there is a plant growing up and below the below the soil, the roots are growing stronger, like they're so big and going long into deep into the soil. But when you see that plant above the ground level, the plant is like this much small. So if someone looks at it from the outside, they'll be like, wow, this plant is growing so slowly. In so many days, it has just grown this much. But when you actually see the progress happening below the soil, the roots are actually getting deeper and deeper into the earth. And this plant is actually growing stronger with the foundation first. And then with, when it grows above the level, it will then take its speed when the time comes. So that's the kind of feeling I'm getting. Like something is getting much and much deeper with the foundation here. It's about the foundation that's taking time to build. But once that foundation is strong enough, the perfect moment or at the right time, things will also start uh, catching up in the 3D reality or it will be visible to eyes. Okay, the progress will be visible to the eyes. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting. For some of you, I definitely see an improvement in your hormonal health. Um, if you have been facing some kind of hormonal imbalances due to which maybe you are having uh, skin issues or you're just having digestive issues, like I'm getting hormonal health improving. For many of you, I'm also getting a feeling that if you have been struggling with mental health, like lately you have been really facing... Uh, like you are feeling a lot depressed or you are just feeling sad, you're feeling a void. Uh, you know, sometimes it happens, It's you just feel low and you sometimes don't understand where is it coming from. You're feeling a void. Um, I feel that this is going to improve soon. Like, um, I think by the time summer ends, like, because I'm doing, if you're watching this reading when I'm uploading in real time, in another two, three months, you will definitely see your mental health improving. You might feel a little more energetic. You might feel a little more positive with life. 
I'm, I'm seeing that energy shifting, okay? Okay. If there is something <clears throat> that stands out to you, you can take that as a personal message to yourself. When I'm looking at this, it's giving me two things. One, it is giving me a beaver. And second, it's giving me a frog. I'm, I'm actually seeing both of those when I'm looking at that. So beavers represent very hardworking energy. They really work hard to build things, right? They're, they're seen as a very hardworking energy. Um, there is this again and again, you know, like you might have started something in life recently and the beginning is really tough. Maybe you have started doing a side hustle full time. Maybe you have started uh like a hobby that you took full-time business job whatever that is or maybe you just got married you're starting your life afresh and you seem to like it feels that the beginning is so tough okay you're really made to work hard you're persevering with something okay but it's a matter of time so and when i was saying that i saw 11 11 <clears throat> it is giving me a feeling that it's just those beginning steps that are going to be a little tough for you. But you are not doing anything wrong. You're not on the wrong path. You're doing the right thing. It's just a matter of time. Balance will be restored. I see a seahorse here. Seahorse always remind me of balance. <clears throat> Don't forget to take rest. Don't forget to, you know, um, if you're working hard, that's good. But also focus on taking rest. Try to maintain a balance. Uh, and you're doing nothing wrong, okay? Um, with time, things will start falling into place and you will start seeing the progress that you're making. This is again and again I keep hearing, okay? I'm being told to remind you this. I see number eight here. Yeah, eight is the number of Saturn, karma. <laughs> Many of you, you could be life path number eight. Things definitely don't come easy to you. I can relate this because my life path number is eight. Whenever I start something new, I do face a lot of challenges. So things don't come easy to me. It always comes with a lot of lessons. So I can relate to this message. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. There is heavy impact of Saturn that I feel on your life a lot of lessons a lot of lessons a lot of lessons I got the vision of a baby giraffe. Like, I don't know which animated movie I saw that, but it's giving me like that cartoon animated giraffe uh, face. Like a baby giraffe. And that is giving me a message that... Um, it's kind of giving me a message here that, wait, I'm got to stop. Okay, so that image was kind of giving me a message that you're about to be getting up, like you will get a place of respect in life soon, or you, you will be given a higher place in life, whether this is through like a promotion or your work improving or whatever that is. Um, you're about to have some kind of up leveling in position or status and the reason why you're going through so much of hardship right now is that um, 
when you get that position, when you get to that level, you understand the importance of it and you don't, you know, and things don't get to your head or ego. So I'm getting a feeling that you are kept humble down from the beginning so that when you get that status, when you get that position, it doesn't get to your head. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting from that image. Wow. Let it settle. I'll pull you a couple of cards till then. Allow me a minute to get the cards. So this is the deck that I'm going to use today. Let's take it one by one. This is so interesting. Matsya is kind of showing up. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, let's take it one by one. Oh my God. Okay, they automatically jumped out. So I'm going to take them. You got Shri Krishna, the Lord of Love. This is so interesting. In group one, Radha came out. And in group two, Krishna came out. If you want to watch group one, you can go ahead and do that. Sense of humor, universal love and charity, success in loving relationships and carefree attitude towards life. This is a positive sign that if you're struggling in your love life or you're struggling with whatever that is, see, this is a sign, success in loving relationships. This is a huge sign. You got... Dhanvantri, the god of medicine. Oh my god. I think I was talking about health and hormonal issues. Wow, I can't believe this came out. Freedom from disease. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much, dear god goddesses, for confirming the message. Uh, sorry. Thank you, Hanuman. Uh, freedom from disease. Wait, why is it not focusing? Okay, freedom from disease, greater health and well-being, mastery of the medical sciences, spiritual knowledge and liberation. Wow. And we have Narad Muni, sage of the gods. Uh, musical ability, knowledge of Vedic literature, mastery of bhakti or devotional yoga attachment to the singing of name god's name you know what i'll be honest i'm getting a feeling with your uh when i'm see looking at these cards i'm really feeling that your bond with the divine is being strengthened with whatever you are going through in life right now your bond with the divine no matter in whichever form you connect with the divine it doesn't matter those are just names okay so when I'm looking at this, all of these cards and this picture together, this is giving me a feeling that you are definitely someone who also has a spiritual purpose in life, okay? And whatever you're going through right now is only strengthening your bond with the divine. And this will help you further in life to get success in whatever area you're looking for. This, this, um, this base that you're making when it comes to your spiritual knowledge, this base that you're making when it comes to connecting with the divine powers, this is going to help you further in life, okay? This is so interesting. And wow, I just noticed bottom of the deck is goddess Saraswati. Saraswati is the Devi or the goddess of knowledge. So for many of you, if you're definitely learning something new, it's a positive sign. You'll be very successful in that. If you're learning anything new, Again, take how that resonates. It's a collective reading. So whatever resonates with you. We will also take some tea leaf cards. Where are you? Okay. Okay, so we'll take some tea leaf messages for you. Got it to take one more from here. 
Older men dealings or relationship with an older man. Are you serious right now? What the heck? <laughs> wow, like look at that, dude. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Okay, now I'm also connecting. Like my eyes went to this picture and I'm connecting to this message. For some of you, you're very close to meeting your soulmate reuniting with your soulmate from a past life because i'll tell you what when hanuman went to lanka and he put lanka on fire this was a sign that rama is about to enter lanka and he's gonna come back and fight and take sita from ravan right so that was the sign wow for some of you this is like you also got the krishna card right and in in here itself it was written it was written that success and loving relationships. For many of you, this is a sign <laughs> that you're going to have a successful love union. If you're facing challenges in a relationship right now, this is going to resolve and it's going to lead to something more stable. And also there is a reason why I, was, I kept getting the idea of a foundation. Now I'm also connecting it to that message. Wow. Woo! I'm so happy. <laughs> For some of you, this is a sign that you're very close to having a very strong love union. You're about to meet your soulmate if you haven't yet. And if you're having some relationship problems right now with your person, this is going to get resolved. Oh, wow. Climbing towards success. Damn, I love that. Okay, wedge some... Oh, okay. <laughs> someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want yeah this problem will be solved don't worry scales keep your life in balance hmm. tear drops great personal sorrow wow for some of you with this i'm also getting a message that something you might have lost recently probably a relationship a person um this sorrow will be like compensated with something amazing entering your life okay i'm i'm getting a feeling as if this sorrow will be compensated with when i'm looking at the scales hmm. okay let's see the wax um if of course there is something you feel you when you look at this picture and there is like something that catches you because sometimes people write in the comments that they feel a pull towards the picture i'm using so of course uh, take that as a message always listen to your intuition let me see hmm. nice You tell me what you see. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. You, you tell me what you see in this shape. This looks to me like a crab for some reason. Like cancer energy, moon energy that I'm feeling from this. Mm, okay. Oh, do you see something? This is like the... Okay, I'm going to show you. You know, in this picture, this uh, this arrow, bow and arrow that this uh, he's holding, that gave me the feeling of that, see? It's like a bow and arrow, and like someone is holding that, like Rama. <laughs> it's like the Ram, uh, Lord Ram holding the bow and arrow. Wow, that's how I'm seeing it. This is interesting. yeah okay um group number two this is where i'll leave you with the reading 
thank you so much for watching me thank you for being here with me till the end and um, yeah i'm gonna see you again with another video take care of yourself till then bye bye